Alright, so uh, day two of driving. Um, let's see, last night I got to the Oregon border, a uh, little ways inside of Oregon. Went slightly past uh, Ontario, Oregon at the rest stop where I was planning to stop because it was uh, really bright at the rest stop. Just uh, 20 minutes further down the road or so, we got out into the, into the boonies, into the country, and I pulled off on a dirt road and got a pretty good sleep, about seven hours of sleep. Um, no bright lights, no interstate traffic noise, and uh, woke up in this uh, uh, pretty little valley. So, and then I drove about four minutes, and it went from being uh, seven o'clock to being six o'clock. So now I just gained an hour. I slept in the like only part of Oregon that's in the mountain time zone. And I've got about seven hours of driving to go, and it's just after 6 a.m., so timing's looking pretty good for getting to the port to pick it up today. All right, here's the really big downgrade that I've got this morning that on my way back is going to be a really big upgrade. If you can't tell, there's a big valley floor down there. This is a big winding road. It's pretty steep, 6%. Uh, it gets hot out here. This is Eastern Oregon, so it's gonna be hot. And if you can see, this is a steep road. So normally not too much of a problem, really, but towing all that extra weight, it's gonna be, uh, this will be an interesting hill. We'll see how the Jeep does going up and how hot we get. All right, better drive. All right, I'm going on down. You can see. Got road work, always lots of road work. And it winds around and around and on down. I'm not sure what the total elevation gain is, but it's, uh, it's significant. Got a little bit closer to the valley floor there. You can see if we even got a runaway truck ramp up there. That's how serious they are about this. floor Everything seem ominous. 